check 4.22 a.m. Nagising ako 4 a.m. para magluto. My husband is in charge of making the chicken adobo and he'll be home in two hours. So right now I'm making the rice to go with hubby's adobo because you just can't have the adobo without the rice, right? That's just a no-no. So I wash my rice three times and I measure my water using my thumb because that's how I was taught growing up back home. Let's plug this in and get it going and while it's cooking, I will go ahead and start with my biko. Nope, scratch that. I decided to make my lumpia first and I'll do my biko later. So question, do you guys put cut up potatoes in your lumpia? I do. Well, when I remember that is. And it's actually really tasty. I learned it from my mom. So if you haven't done it, you should try it. I guarantee you'll love it. Next, I will be browning my meat for the lumpia. So the meat is brown. I'm going to add my potatoes now. Next, I will add my mixed vegetables. And there's many ways to prepare lumpias, really. Dahil busy mama ko, homeschooling and taking care of the kids, kaya I don't have time to cut up my own veggies. So what I do is buy the pre-packed mixed vegetables and buy the biggest one I could find. And Costco usually carries the large organic packages. So this time guys, I'm going to make bibingkang malagkit or biko. In English, it's rice cake. Here are my ingredients. So for my topping, I need one cup of sugar, brown sugar, and one and a half cup of the coconut milk. And for the biko, I have two cups of rice, one cup brown sugar, one and a half cups of coconut milk, and I'm also going to need one and a half cups of water. We're going to start with the topping. Good morning. Hi, Coco. This smells good. What is it? I make the yes surprise for the kids. Let's see. There's one in there that has bacon on it. Donut with bacon? Water with bacon. Wow. Oh, you want to share a breakfast sandwich with me? Oh, you have a breakfast? Where did you get it? At the, it's you know, the croissant. Five bags of donuts. And a sandwich. How's work, Dada? You are at the hospital? Yeah, overtime. Okay, overtime. Oh my goodness, guys. Look at this humongous croissant breakfast sandwich. Looks so yummy. Huge. It's the claw. <laughs> yummy. Out. Hmm. Is that good, Dada? Hmm. Look at this, guys. It's six o'clock in the morning. I'm cooking up a storm, and my husband just came home from work. Brought lots of donuts for the kids. And Once the sauce has thickened, then it's done. Not quite there yet. Now our topping is done. Here we go. It's really brown, dark brown now. Check that off. Put it aside. So now it's time to cook the glutinous rice. I already washed my rice. Also, while the topping or the rice is cooking, whichever one, you want to coat the inside of the pan with butter to prevent pico from sticking. In my case, I'm using coconut oil instead of butter. You guys, it's a beautiful morning. The sun is coming out. I just want to pause and thank the Lord Jesus for another day. Oh, it's gorgeous. Okay, let's set the oven to 350 degrees. So now my rice is done. I'm now transferring it into the pan.
Next, I will pour my topping and spread it evenly all over the biko, just like that. The oven is now ready. Let's put the biko in and bake for about 30 minutes. And while the biko is in the oven, I will now start wrapping my lumpias or egg rolls. So, tara na guys, saman ko! You know, I initially wasn't planning to record my cooking because I am not a cook. I barely get by. But it dawned on me, I see guru, this should be my next content. Why not? So here it is, and you're watching my premiere. And while I'm at it, I want to thank you for your continued support. Although I don't have the best content, ang hirap kasi maghanap ng content. So I really appreciate you all. Tara, all done. And my biko is done as well. Ooh, just look at that. Good morning, guys. So for today, magluluto si Habi ng chicken na dobo para dalhin ko sa kaibigan namin. Already smells good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the cat smells my husband's cooking and she wants to come in. <laughs> so before I put my soy sauce and vinegar, I kind of brown up the meat a little bit with the onion and garlic. So all I have in here is onion, one red onion, eight cloves of garlic, eight or seven, depending on the size. Um, and I have so about a teaspoon of black pepper and a little bit of oil, either canola or vegetable oil, so it doesn't stick or anything. We don't want it to burn. And believe it or not, it gets a lot of that good flavor in there from the garlic and the onion. Okay, I have a half a cup of vinegar, white vinegar, and half a cup of soy sauce. I'd like to go over all of it. And I never really adjust the heat. I keep it on medium the whole time. And what we need now is about seven bay leaves. Why seven? Because it's my favorite number. It's the number of completeness. One. Completeness. Two, three, four, five, six. Uh, that's about seven. <laughs> All right. Easy peasy. So we cook this for about 45 minutes. So if you want the sauce thicker, keep it uncovered because most of the water and stuff will evaporate. If you want it more saucy, you can play with the lid and stuff. But I cut the thighs in half, parallel with the bone, and uh, the bone really gives it a nice flavor. So this is actually my favorite adobo, is this thigh chicken adobo. The pork's okay too, but I actually prefer chicken. This yeah, one. me too. I mean, I like the taste of pork, but for some reason, I feel I've never done chicken. Yeah, this is how it's looking right now. My husband will take a shower while this is cooking. It's probably another 20 minutes and it'll be done. And there you have it, friends. My hubby's adobo is now done. Okay, it's looking good and it smells good. Mm. As you can see, guys, I'm multitasking because. Kailangan kong i-drop off muna yung anak ko sa Saturday class niya. Then I'll drop off the food sa friend ko. Mahigit isang oras yung drive ko from our house kasi. And heto na ang napakasarap na adobo ni Hubby. Alright, let's fry the lumpias. Fun fact. In our home, guys, ako yung tagagawa ng lumpias at si Habi naman sa adobo kasi no matter how much I try, hindi talaga masarap adobo ko. And also, guys, I usually put oyster sauce on my lumpia kasi lang yung isang anak ng friend ko is allergic to seafood kaya hindi ko na siya nilagay. So, we have two trays of adobo here. One biko or rice cake. And two containers of rice. A dozen of pandesal and some pulberon. Yes, we're going bye bye. 
Now guys, I really hope na magustuhan nito ng friend ko at ng family niya. After all, we cooked it with love. So, we'll see. Five hours later. Time check 9.32 a.m. and I am done. Thank you. 